All right, welcome back to the channel. What do you think about this view, huh? This must mean we're doing another how-to video. That is correct. How-to SMD soldering. And I get asked this question a lot. You know, do I use a heat gun and solder paste and blah, blah, blah. And I don't. I solder with my soldering iron. I use this guy. And uh, so I'm gonna show you guys how I do this. And I think this is kind of a helpful tip. Um, so right here I have a big noise amplification uh, heat machine V2. We're going to solder the dreaded FV1 chip. Look at this. Oh, I got manual focus on there. I ain't going to focus. So how I go about doing this is I take my solder, okay? And what I'm going to do is just put it to one of the upper pins here, okay? Now I take my, my clean, clean iron. And I just hit the one pin, right? That's it. I hit that one pin. There's a little bit of solder on there that you can see. And that's all the further I'm gonna go. And then I take my chip, I set it on there. Okay, so see how we're kind of like right there with it? What I'm gonna do is then heat up that solder and just slide that pin right there. Okay, see how I did that? Now, that thing is in there and it's not gonna move around too much, right? So then we can check the other side and see how on the other side those legs are just right inside the solder pads. So what I can do then is, you know what, let's move this over. So I can just hit that with a little bit more heat. Okay, there, now I moved it over. We have everything kind of lined up, right? Both sides are lined up, look really, really nice. So there, one pin's done. We just have, I don't know, what is this thing got, like 24? Got 23 more or something, no big deal. Here's the thing with these though, like any sort of IC um, or regulators or transistors, they're, they don't like a lot of heat all the time. You have to be a little patient, okay? So for instance, what I like to do is now that I have this upper corner done, I go over here and I shoot this bottom corner with a little bit of solder and a little bit of heat. And that's it. Now that chip is really locked into place. It's not going anywhere, okay? I'll take a little screwdriver here, even try to, you know what I mean? It ain't going anywhere. Now all I'm going to do is hit every one of those pins, taking my time, just a little bit of solder, a little bit of heat, and it's going to hit right to the pads of the PCB in the legs of that chip, and we're going to be good to go. And now mind you, if you when you're looking at this board, you can see I only have resistors on there and sockets. Um, I made the mistake, and it, this was actually recently, I made the mistake of populating the whole board, and I totally spaced on like, SMD um, transistors and I was trying to like, you know, I had like the soldering iron and another, like a thing in there trying to get it and it was like a total debacle. So I always try to do all my SMD right away and then hit up resistors and normal stuff that we do when we build things. We usually populate short, it's the tallest. Um, so yeah, that is how I put in a chip. So what I'll do here is I'll finish it up so you guys can see it. I'll speed it up there so it's not so boring and then I'll show you the end result, okay? Another method actually, let's, I've seen people do, I'm not good at this, but they'll lay the solder down like that and just dip with the soldering iron. That's like, you know, that's next level. I'm not next level. I'm like, a, you know, old workhorse here, just take my time, no hurry. And as you can see, I'm not, like, killing it with heat. I'm just doing what I can. Now, something just happened there, if you guys can see right here between these two pins, I got a solder bridge. Now, the only way I've seen to get rid of these without getting too much heat involved, again, if you don't want that, solder sucker. And I take it, I'll heat that up just a little bit, and blast it out of there, okay? 
again, just something to watch out when you're when you're doing this. You just gotta kind of take your time, be patient. You know, little heat. What I'll do, I'll do a couple legs. I'll turn it over. We'll do a couple more legs. Now, would that solder paste probably be easier? Absolutely. But then that's just one more thing I gotta figure out and learn and remember that I have it and that it's somewhere in the house and yeah. I think this method works just fine. There, that side's completely done. That's SMD soldering. That is the fabled FV1 chip. This is a really cool delay. And um, as you can tell, that was in. And what was our video time? A couple minutes, five minutes there to get that done? That's not bad. Now, that's how I do every single chip. And I t approach the same method if we were to do, you know, like the SMD. Um, these are pedal PCB adapter boards. When I do these, it's the same thing. I hit up this pin first, right? I put a dollop of solder there. I'll attach the transistor, which I don't have any or near me, so sorry about that, but hit that one, get it set in place, turn it, hit the other side, get it connected. Super easy, not much to it, um, but there we go. That's SMD soldering for anyone who wants to know how to do it. Hope you guys have a great day.